In question number two, we want to sketch the graph of the piecewise function. So the first graph that we're looking at is x plus 5 if x is less than 0. So in order for us to graph, we can figure out what the slope is. Well, the slope is the number that's in front of the x, which is going to be 1 over 1. And then our y-intercept is 0, 5. So we're going to first plot our y-intercept, which is 0, 5. And then we're going to go and do, do, figure our slope. So we're going to go up 1 to the right 1 up one to the right one, okay, up one and to the right one. And we can do the same thing going down. We can go down one, to the left one, down one, and then to the left one. Okay, so, so far, if we keep extending it, this is what our line is going to look like. Okay, now, the next thing that we need to take a look at is this restriction, which is this is x that is less than zero. So that means that it has to be, it's got to start at zero here on the x-axis, but it says less than, so that means we can't have a closed circle, it's going to have an open circle, and it's going towards this direction. So what that means is we need to cut off this part, that's why it's called the piecewise function. And so now, at the value of 5, okay, we have an open circle because it says less than 0. Because at 0, it's less than that number. So therefore, we've graphed the first piece of this function. Now we want to move to the second part of this function. And the second part of this function is x minus 5 if x is greater than 0. So this slope, which is in front of x, is 1 over 1. And we have our y-intercept at 0, negative 5. So now we're going to go down to 0, negative 5. And then we're going to go ahead and use our slope to graph up 1 to the right 1, up 1 to the right 1, up 1 to the right 1, and so on. And we're also going to go down 1 to the left, down one, and then to the left. And so then we're going to go ahead and draw our line through those points. Okay. And so now we need to look at this restriction. So the restriction tells us that it has to start at zero and it's going to be greater than zero. So what does that mean? That means we need to cut off everything that's less than zero. And we need to put an open circle at that number as well because of let the, that it's greater than, not greater than or equal to. And so therefore, there is our other piece function. Okay. So now in step three, they want us to determine what is the domain in the range of this function. So... The domain of this function, we have an open circle at zero. It's going towards this direction, towards negative infinity. And it's also going in this direction, which is going towards positive infinity. Now, since we can't include the zero, we're going to have parentheses here and a parentheses there. So the domain of this function starts at negative infinity, and it goes to zero with a parentheses and then union starting at zero, and then going towards infinity.